Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try True Colors, City Lock. your intro. Alright, so what I'm doing there is I'm holding down the first string third fret with my pinky. I'm hitting the fifth string and the uh, first string together. Then I hit the open second to the first fret like that. Notice I let everything ring. Then I'm going to hit that first string again. So Then I'm going to hit the first string and the fifth string again, but this time I'm going to hold down the second fret of the fifth string and I'm going to do the same sort of move so it's like it's the same thing it's just that I'm doing the fifth string second fret so now this time I'm going to use the third uh, fret of the fifth string I'm not going to hit that first string that last time though I'm going to go like this okay so it sounds like The sixth string first fret and the third string second fret. Just hit those two together and let it ring. Uh, well, for a moment. Then I'm going to sneak, I'm going to let that ring and go with my middle finger here. I'm going to hit the open second string to the second string first fret underneath there. Sorry. See how I snuck that in? Second time you don't, you just end on that F, F and A there, F chord. Okay, hopefully that's good enough. Uh, I'm, I tabbed it all out, and there'll be a link so you can look at the tab. The, the real key to it is, like when I teach people, that they're, they're always doing stuff like... They just let go of those bass notes, and then you, you, know, you don't get the effect that you do, that you want, or at least that I want. Okay? That's your intro. It's all tabbed out. Go check it out. I'm finger picking, by the way. Uh, I'm not going to go over every little thing uh, for the right hand. Uh, it's just too much, but you can figure it out. Uh, basically, basically what I'm doing is I'm using the um, the bass strings or my thumb. So my thumb takes care of fourth, five, and six. My index finger is taking care of the third string, my middle, the second string, and my ring finger, the <coughs> first string. Uh, for the most part, I do break the rules. Okay, now for the verse, uh, A minor 7, U with the sad G slash B, C chord to C slash E to an F chord twice, A minor 7 to G, C, D minor 7, C slash E to F, and then an A minor 7 to G, F6 with a C in the bass, <laughs> to a C, okay? And that's your verse, and it it's always the same, okay? So once you learn it, you're good. Um, A minor 7 is the 4th string 2nd fret, 2nd string 1st fret. Basically what I'm doing with my right hand is I'm hitting the 5th string and I'm hitting the top 3 strings with my fingers. And then I, I just kind of hit it once and then kind of prepare my hand to come back and play like that. Then I go to a G slash B, which is the 5th string 2nd fret the second string and first string, third fret, and I, I'm still on the fifth string with my thumb and the top three strings with my fingers, and that's all I do is, and then a C chord's the same thing, uh, fifth string again for my right hand, so fifth string, third fret, fourth string, second fret, second string, first fret, that's my C chord, and I hit it again, and then this time I'm going to do C slash E, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thumb, and move it to the fourth string, and that's a C slash E, because now this note is my bass note, and um, I'm not playing the sixth or the or the fifth string. <clears throat> I'm playing just the top four strings. That's C slash E. I'm changing the bass note. That's all slash chords are. Then I go to an F chord, and I think what I did here was just a small F, fourth string, third fret, third string, second fret, second string, first fret. And I just kind of did four, three, and two with these fingers here, 
and just did it twice. You can do anything you want, but you got to give it a whole measure of F. And then you're back to the A minor 7 to a G. This time it's a regular G. Uh, six string third fret, fifth string second, and the top two uh, strings at the third fret. I'm going to switch my um, my thumb to the six string, and uh, it sounds like a G5, really. Could do it like that, too. Either way, it doesn't really matter. It goes by pretty quick. So that's your first line in the verse. It's like, you with the A minor 7 to G slash B, don't get C chord to C slash E and F chord twice. A minor 7 to G in a world. Now you got a C chord. You already know it. Fifth string. Then you're going to go to a D minor 7. You're going to cover the top two strings, first fret, third string, second fret. I'm going to switch to the fourth string for my thumb. Okay, just like that. Then you got C slash E again. It's that little C chord. It's the fourth string, second fret, second string, first fret. Just don't hit those last two notes, or last two strings. Just use the fourth string again, just like the D minor 7. Like. And then an F chord. And again, I'm just doing 4, 3, and 2 on my F. A minor 7 again, G again, and now the new chord, F6 slash C. First string, first fret. Second string, third fret, I'm going to do that with my pinky. Third string, second fret with my middle finger, and then my ring finger is going to go to the fifth string, third fret. Um, some people, you could think of it like a D minor with C in the bass, slash C. Um, I'm just calling it an F6 slash C. Um, it's both. Okay. So now I'm covering the top three strings with my fingers and my thumb is hitting the fifth string. And I go right to a C chord from that. Hit that one once, right to a C chord. Okay. So some of the things you can do with the verse, um, I'll play it through it again now, now that you now that you work through it all. Don't get discouraged when you go to an F chord. A minor seven to G. In a world where a C chord goes to a D minor 7, you could go like this. To the F, and then A minor 7 to C, F6 slash C to C. <laughs> okay, that's your verse. Hopefully you caught on. Okay, off to the chorus is an F chord to a C, G sus 4 to G, F to C, uh, C slash E to F chord to G sus 4 to G. And then an F chord to a C, to an F, to an A minor 7, F slash C to C, F slash C to C, and then G sus 4, like a rainbow. Alright, so that's the, uh, I see your, you know, I, I see a true, true, I can't sing, true colors shine. Why she goes like this and then da, 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 to let them show. And then like a rainbow. So let's go over our chords. What do we need? Uh, the F chord, I think I'm doing a bigger F at this point. I'm gonna use the sixth string first fret for with my thumb and then do the fourth fourth string third fret. 3rd string 2nd, 2nd string 1st fret, and I'm going to use the 6th string and move these fingers over, so now my index is on the 4th, uh, my middle is on the 3rd, and my uh, ring finger is on the 2nd. Remember earlier I said I break the rules, well there's the rule breaker right there. That's an F chord, and then I go right back to C, and then with my C chord, if you do your C chord um, like this, and then your G sus4, just move your 6th string 3rd fret, add the pinky to the 1st string 3rd fret, and leave this finger down on the 2nd string 1st fret. And if you do your G sus4 like that, uh, rather than trying to reach like that, that's it. And then you could just let go uh, of that 2nd string and do your G chord like this. 6th string 3rd fret, 1st string 3rd fret, and you have the open strings. So it sounds like true colors shining through, like that. 
and then you go to the F. I'd probably go to a small F because I got a C slash E after that, so. And then back to F. And then the G sus4 to the G are only one beat a piece, so it's gotta be like quicker, tighter, in other words. And then the F chord to the C, and then F chord to an A minor seven. And then now a new chord, F slash C to C, F slash C to C, and that F slash C is just an F chord with C in the bass. So you got your second string, first fret, third string, second fret, fourth string, third fret. I'm going to use my pinky for that and use my ring finger on the fifth string, third fret. And again, break the rules. I'm going to put the thumb on the fifth string, the index on the fourth, and then the, the middle on the third, and the second strings with ring finger and then when I go to the C I stay on those chords I mean those strings do it like that for the end of the chorus and then you can strum it with your thumb I rolled it with my fingers I hit this is a G sus4 I rolled the six three two and one just like that one at a time if you just practice it slowly for a while after a couple weeks of practice, you'll have it. Okay, so let me go over the chorus again. You see it? F chord to a C chord, shining through G sus four to G. F to C slash E, that's why she F chord, and then G sus four to G. And then F to a C, to let them show F to A minor seven. F slash C to C, F slash C to C. And then G sus four. And then you're off to the interlude. All right, the interlude, wicked simple. If you already can play the intro, it's the same thing. Sorry. Except here. Just like that. And then the same thing here. Okay? So all you're doing is when you go to that F halfway through, and you paused earlier you just did this open second to the second string first fret like that here you're going to come in and a half a beat sooner just like that that's what the keyboard does it goes hits the third string second fret open second second string first fret just like that so let me play it without yakking and try and get it correct You're off to another verse. Uh, there's only one new chord and that's in the end of the song. Um, so you basically have everything. We just have to go over this outro part here. Um, so let me give you the form of the song right now. You got your intro, your verse, your chorus, then that little interlude that we just played, then the verse comes back, then the chorus comes back, then the interlude comes back, just like that. Then you do another verse and then you're off to the outro chorus, which we're going to do right now. And it's basically just, it's just, it's a variation on the chorus. So it's not a, not a big deal, but it's kind of hard to remember it when it comes time for gig time. So and then there's this little thing at the end that you already can play if you can play the intro. It's like half the intro. Okay. Uh, the last new chord you're going to need, I'm going to give it to you right now, is E7. Eventually you're going to use it. It's 5th string 2nd fret, 3rd uh, string 1st fret, okay, and that's your E7 chord, and that's the last chord that's going to come up in this outro. Alright, so let me just play the outro, C your F chord to C, G sus4 to G, F to C slash E, F to G sus4 to G, and F chord to C, F to A minor 7, F slash C to C, F slash C to C, F slash C to C, G sus4 to G, F to C slash E, F to G sus4 to G, F to C, here's E7 to A minor 7, F slash C to C, F slash C to C, G sus4 like a rainbow, and then at the end, Backwards, that that part at the end is a 
same thing in the intro. They just slow down and end like that. They don't do it twice or whatever you want to think of it. Okay? So it's just like that. All right, so let's go over this. Uh, I already gave you the E7 chord. So uh, you see your true colors is an F to a C. Shining through is G sus4 to G. You see your F chord to C slash E. And that's why she loves an F chord to G sus4 to G. F to C. And then F to A minor 7. Uh, F slash C to C. Do this three times in a row. F slash C to C. F slash C to C. That's the first time in the song it's happened three times. And then G sus4 to G. And then she turns it right back into F to C slash E. F to G sus4 to G. And then an F to a C. C and then the E7. What I'm doing the E7 is I kind of roll my thumb over 6, 4, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And all the strings, you don't have to. You can just hit 6 string in the top 3. The nice thing is the E7 to the A minor 7 are the same shape, different strings. And then F slash C to C. F slash C to C are beautiful. G sus4 like a rainbow. And then the end. Okay? So hopefully that's good enough. There is, there'll be a link with my scribblings and uh, it's two pages. One has got the chords and one has got all the tab and the chord progressions and stuff. Okay? Thank you Cindy Lauper for another great song. I know it's, well, it's been 40 years. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. Play more guitar. Hit the like button. Please subscribe.